just to give him a breather, you know, let him kind of catch his thoughts again. Um, you get a veteran guy like that on the mound, he knows what he's doing wrong. It's just kind of a, a chance to kind of break up the monotony real quick and, and kind of call time out and just run out there and tell him he looks good or something, you know, I mean, <laughs> just to get him to stop thinking about it real quick. And, and then we're good to go to turn around and roll back through the rest of the lineup. What's it like to call a game with the guy with those those weapons working like that? Today was awesome. I mean, he uh, he really had everything working. He did a tremendous job of getting ahead of a lot of guys and getting some early outs, kept our pitch counts down. Um, but I really got to give him all the credit. I didn't, I just blocked like two of the three balls he threw in the dirt and then, you know, really he uh, he did the rest. And you got a nice kick off the, uh, the back wall there. Too. I did, yeah. That was uh, the old two seam cutter that Apparently, I told him, I said, we're going to start calling that pitch this now when he uh, wants to throw that. But I kind of set up off the plate thinking he was, you know, we called for a two-seamer down and away. And it's just one of those ones where he kind of just got around it and it, it cut pretty good. And I don't know how it didn't hit the umpire. And then turn around, he blocked it. He was kind of shielding it, coming through. And I'm waiting for him to move to see where the ball is. And I just turned around and caught it through the first. And thankfully, it was just in time because that would have been kind of embarrassing. <laughs>